there is a growing demand for plant-based proteins. Proteins can be extracted from various crops like beans and peas, but also from side streams like leaves of sugar beets. Rubisco is an interesting protein to extract. It's present in large quantities in leaves of all green plants. But what happens to the proteins after harvest? We know that leaves are still active. They still respire and produce heat energy. How can we keep the protein levels and quality high so many can be extracted? That's what we wanted to find out in a project done by Wageningen Food and Bio-Based Research. We start with a question. How did temperature and storage time after harvest influence the protein in the leaf? For this experiment, we harvest leaves, followed by storage at different temperatures. Small boxes for precise measurements on laboratory scale are used, as well as bigger bins to mimic more realistic storage conditions. All conditions, like temperature and air composition, are well monitored. Samples are taken at different moments in time. We determine weight loss and freeze the samples for protein analysis at a later moment. Next to developing a post-harvest protocol to maintain proteins, we work on a method using near-infrared technology as a potential predictor of the protein content in leaves. To see how successful the proteins can be extracted after storage under different conditions, we press the material and collect the juice. We measure the amount and draw up a mass balance. The juice, containing also the Rubisco protein, will be analyzed on protein content. Results so far show that temperature during storage has a clear effect on the proteins in the fresh material. By keeping the material cool, the protein can be preserved much better. This research generates new insights about post-harvest strategies, which are needed to realize high protein recovery in a sustainable, safe, and economically feasible way.